you. Um, well, first, let's put a point on it. The president and the supporters of Obamacare promised numerous times that if you like your health care plan, you can keep it. It was unequivocal, and this unequivocal promise was apparently necessary, they thought, to pass Obamacare on one of the slimmest, most partisan votes in congressional history. But it was clear to anyone who actually read the bill that the promise was false and it would be a major disruption in people's health care plans. And we now know it was a false problem. For example, 93,000 people in Louisiana have lost their health care plan due to Obamacare. Now, the president has acknowledged this was a false promise. When asked in an interview about those who had their health coverage canceled due to Obamacare, he goes, well, I'm sorry they're finding themselves in this situation based upon assurances they got from me. And Mr. Chairman, I have an article to this effect that I'll submit for the record. Yet even after the acknowledgment of, this, of the president, congressional supporters continue to defend the promise. Um, for example, when asked about the president's apology, Ms. Pelosi said he is gracious, he's taken responsibility, but that doesn't mean there was anything in the law that said that what you had before 2010, you couldn't keep it. Now, Mr. Chairman, I have another article I'll submit for that. Now, this is after millions of Americans, and I laugh kind of grimly, had their health care coverage canceled because of Obamacare. Now, by the way, as Mr. Waxman brings up, extol the benefits of this, you know the shop exchanges in 18 states will have only one offering? Only in 18 states there will only be one plan that you can take or leave. Recent reports that the average increases in the small group market will be 11%, in some states 10 times that much. Forbes recently reported that in Washington state the amount the increase for small businesses was going to be 588%. Wow. Man, we've done them a favor, huh? Pennsylvania is going to be 66%, California 37%. Now, a similar bill was introduced by Chairman Upton for the individual market and received 44 votes from Democrats. There are some, I think, who are less interested in protecting the signature legislation of President Obama and more interested in actually protecting American workers getting hammered by premium increases. My legislation, the Employee Health Care Protection Act, is meant to do one thing, provide relief to American workers and ensure that the American people can keep the health care plans they like. If supporters of this law really believe in keeping their word to the American people, they should support this legislation. It will allow millions of Americans to keep the health care plan they like. If they don't like it, they can go onto the exchange. We don't have to kind of benightedly say that you are better off with what we're telling you you're better off with. Uh, let them choose. And if they like to have the plan that's only a shop exchange, the one plan in some cases, they can join it. And if they choose not, they can stay with the plan that they do. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, I think giving the American people the power of choice and keeping promises made is a better alternative. 